Hey, what's up guys? It is Flashwing. Out back in the garage again today with uh, another short for you. Um, I've had several subscribers over the last several months, ever since I released the video of my uh, RX-8, my Mazda RX-8. Uh, I've had a lot of people that have been asking me about details about modifications and some more in-depth video of the car itself. So I wanted to take a moment today and give you guys a little bit more of a tour of the uh, RX-8, some of its modifications and the things that I've done to it, and uh, some of the styling choices. So sit back and relax. I'm going to go through some of the uh, features of the car, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. overview of the RX-8 and some of the notable modifications. I wanted to take a minute to kind of talk about a few more details that you guys might not have been able to have seen on the video and walk you through some of the real special highlights of this car in terms of installations and parts. All right, so first I wanted to start in the engine bay because of course this is the business end of the car. What you'll notice first and foremost is if you're familiar with RX-8s, uh, you'll notice that the uh, a lot of the primary intake system and the battery are missing. Uh, I've got a battery relocation kit, so the main battery would sit here. It's actually been relocated to the trunk. More specifically though, we have the Gretti turbo kit installed on this vehicle. So you can see the uh, blue charge pipe here. And uh, in addition, you have the black uh, HKS sequential blow-off valve special edition. And one of the other touches was a lot of the work that was done on the turbo kit was done uh, courtesy of Black Halo Racing here in Phoenix. One of the major changes that uh, Black Halo Racing made uh, was the incorporation of the AEM cold air intake kit in exchange of the uh, Gretti intake kit for two main reasons. Uh, one, it's a cold air intake kit as opposed to uh, Gretti's kit which sits inside the engine bay and draws in hot air. If you're familiar at all with uh, turbo systems, you'll know how important uh, intake air temperature is for the uh, performance and safety of the uh, engine. In addition to that, also the uh, pipe size is uh, the closest match to the actual stock intake, and so we get really good mass airflow sensor readings, and it requires very little adjustment. Um, I should also add that the car is tuned uh, by myself using a Cobb access port. Um, in addition to that, uh, it does have a Zex nitrous kit. The car used to be ran on nitrous prior to the turbo system. Uh, you can see the actual Zex uh, nitrous controller here. Uh, it is not currently hooked up, so I've got the fuel lines disconnected, but it is there for the purge valve, which is back here. This is the actual uh, Zex purge kit, and uh, you have the actual purge solenoid, and then you have the uh, purge tube, which actually shoots out of this vent back here on the uh, hood. Some small touches, uh, NRG hood struts, since the stock RX-8 hood has a hood prop. In addition to that, you've got a Gretti catch can, a little catch can here. Uh, some blue accented pieces, Mazda Speed strut tower bar, and also I have a sawn adapter, which what that basically is, is a rotary engine uses oil in the combustion chamber as part of the combustion process. And the RX-8, draws the oil supply from the oil pan, which means that the oil going into the motor is sometimes dirty and contaminated. So there is actually an adapter plate that exists down past here, which you guys probably can't see this guy. 
It's a uh, aluminum sandwich plate that deletes that connection to the oil pan and allows you to run an external can up here where I use two cycle uh, AMS oil, synthetic oil as uh, the injection oil instead. Uh, it's very, very red as you can see. Uh, in addition to that, I do have a, uh, a boost controller on the vehicle so you can see the boost controller solenoid there with the solenoid lines. And uh, what you can't see is the car does have full suspension on it, so it has uh, K-Sport control probe coilovers um, that were put on a shock dyno, tested, and uh, the fluid was fully replaced, all courtesy of Evolution Motorsports in Tempe. And in addition to the suspension components of the coilovers, I do have full white line sway bars and end links front and rear that are fully adjustable as well. There is also a Koyo aluminum radiator, um, and also the rest of the Gretti turbo kit, which includes the uh, front intercooler, the turbo header. Um, there's a full three inch exhaust from the header back. Uh, it's the black Haley racing mid pipe with a cat delete and a turbo excess cat back exhaust, all the three inch, which is perfect for a turbo setup of this car. Now I'm going back here to the, uh, to the trunk. There's a couple notable items that I wanted to talk to you about in the trunk area. First is an Odyssey red top that uh, has been installed with a battery relocation kit to free up some room up front. And this is the Zex Nitrous kit back here. So we have a 10 pound Zex Nitrous kit tank. Um, it's the black edition, so all black and purple components. And in addition to that, in the front of the tank, you have a remote opener. Uh, so I can open the tank remotely from inside the vehicle. And uh, all of this is suspended from the deck lid of the trunk itself. Uh, so you can see that there is space down in here. It's a fantastic uh, installation, again, done by Black Halo Racing. Uh, it actually hides this kit very well because unless you're at eye level with the tank, you won't even see it in the trunk. Um, so it's a nice convenient location and uh, it's a very slick installation. It's one of the reasons why I've left it in there is because I love how well it was installed. All right, guys, that's it for today's tour. Uh, feel, feel free to post your comments or questions. Uh, it'd be really great to hear from you uh, about what you guys think about the car, if there's any other questions that you wanted me to answer. Uh, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your guys' time, and uh, I do appreciate the support for these uh, vlog sessions in particular. So everybody take care, and uh, we'll see you out there.